What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another FNAF news video. First of all, I just quickly like to say I live in the UK and currently we are in a storm. So uh, if you hear any background noise during this entire thing, uh, I'm very sorry. I literally can't do anything about it. I can't stop a, uh, I can't stop a storm. I can't cover up the storm. I, I don't know what I can do about it. So I'm very sorry if that's what you hear, but we should be okay. We should be okay. Um, today I'm going to be actually talking about something very different. Uh, I don't usually do FNAF news like this, but if you want to see more videos like this in the future, um, then please do comment down below. But uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about the FNAF Funko reveal that happened on the 16th of February 2022, which was uh, last th Wednesday? Thursday? <laughs> I don't even know. But we got announced on the 14th that there would be loads of new reveals from Funko um, about a lot of different kind of things, action figures, pops, pop keychains, plushies, statues, uh, all, all of the kind of uh, new reveals that would be coming uh, on the 16th, uh, which is kind of cool to the plushie community and people who collect these things. I personally don't, so a lot of the time I don't really care, but I have seen uh, these plushies and um, I have mixed opinions on them. What I will say is that a fellow friend of mine, TNT Muffin, uh, has a very own YouTube channel where he talks a lot about uh, these kind of plushies, uh, Funko stuff, he does reviews I think, uh, but he also does really cool concept art for potential plushies in the future and they are a lot better. Than, than the real ones. But um, anyway, making a plushie is very different to making a concept for a plushie. Um, but let's get straight into kind of a look at some of these. So firstly, we have the Special Delivery Mystery Mini Set. Um, and these are actually all right. I actually quite like a lot of these. Uh, we have a, a very mixed uh, range here. We have a lot of the, um, we have a lot of the VR kind of uh, VR skins from FNAF AR, we have, is that Ice Ballora? I, I, I don't know all the names. We also have the Frostbite Balloon Boy, uh, there's a Mangle there. These are actually really cool, I think. Um, I think these, I, I don't collect these, as I said, but, um, if I was to collect any, I think that it would be these, because these are very nice and small, and, you know, you could just put them around your room. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. If I do get, like, a fully fleshed I don't know, a, like a better room with a better background and stuff, I would potentially think about getting these uh, and like putting them in the background, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but I don't have the money for that. I'm not Johnny Blocks. And then we've got some keychains. Uh, these are actually really cool. And I, I see a theme here because these are also, uh, these specific four characters are in plushies. So let's have a look at them as well. Um, I don't know why they chose these four because we have the three kind of VR. We have System, Toy Chica, uh, or System Era, Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie. Um, I'm actually not sure, a, a VR headset Freddy or something. And then we have Radioactive Foxy, which is kind of weird. And there are a lot of inconsistencies with these, which you're gonna get with, you know, with the uh, merchandise. It's gonna be a lot different to the actual in-game characters, but overall, these are pretty cool. I might actually get one because I, where are my keys? These are my keys right now. Uh, it could use a little bit of spicing up, you know? <coughs> it could use something to go on them, uh, to make them brighter or something, but uh, yeah. And then yeah, the plushies. So these are kind of all right. Um, what I'm noticing is it's very different from how Funko have done the plushies in the past, I believe, because this, well, like all of the graphics and stuff seem just printed on uh, I mean, you know, with the with the Toy Freddy, we do have like the VR headset coming out, which is very cool. But apart from that, really, it's all kind of just printed on, kind of like an like an ordinary Chica or an ordinary Bonnie. It's it's very, I don't know. It feels a little bit cheaty. I don't know if you can cheat at making plushies, but um, I don't know. I I feel like I would want higher quality. Uh, if I was gonna buy Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. To me, Chica looks very derpy. I don't know what it is about her. I think it might be the face. I feel like it's too small compared to the entire head. But overall, these are okay. I like the colors. I think they're very bright and uh, and well done here. I believe these are actually the colors 
of the Dark Rooms podcast, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Moving on, um, these are cool. So we have inverted plushies, uh, Walmart ex exclusive Shamrock Freddy plushie as well. Uh, these, yeah, these seem to be inverted colors. Um, I actually quite like these. I actually like the, the Bonnie one a lot. Uh, and Pink Freddy, we always love a Pink Freddy. Actually, Foxy looks kind I like the inverted ones more, I think. I feel like the colors, I feel like you have to have crazy color. I like the black light plushies, actually. Um, I know I'm going very off topic here, but th those are just so different that I love them so much. I don't know why. I think I like bright colors and stuff. Whatever. Shamrock Freddy's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, he looks a bit disappointing. I, f I feel like the chain could have, there could have been something there, you know. Anyway, <laughs> we have some VR Toy Freddies and Shamrock Freddy. Oh wait, these are the attack versions of Toy Freddy, of, um, what's it called? VR Toy Freddy, I'm losing my words today. These are really cool, actually, I quite like these. I'm, I'm not too fond on action figures, but um, they're pretty cool. And the plushie for the attack version of VR Toy Freddy is really cool, I like that a lot. We have a Candy Freddy. Is that even a skin in, in AR? I don't even know if that's a skin. It might be. I quite like that. I like how you can see the wiring um, in, in the body. But apart from that, uh, oh, I like the, the blue nose. That's very cool. Gumdrop, the gumdrop nose. And then finally, we actually have something that came up today. Uh, it seems like there's actually more than they announced. Anyway, um, we have a TikTok video. Let's have a look at this. I haven't actually seen this yet. That's that's a cool plush. That's so cool. Okay, so you can see these in a, in kind of action um, with the you can see the plushies IRL. Um, I really like the Vanny one. I I think again it's the colours that stand out to me. It just works really well. I might get it. <laughs> I might have to. Uh, I need something in the background or something. I don't know, but um. Anyway, that's it for now. That's all of the, the plushy, that's all the Funko news. Uh, again, if you like this sort of content, if you want me to update you uh, more on this sort of thing, then please tell me in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I've been Ozone, but I have to go Ozone. Goodbye. <laughs>